Okay, so what we got here today is the Ace Beam H30 flashlight. It came with a 21700 battery. And I bought these replacement batteries, but these are actually USB-C ones. So you charge them through this little port here. And I thought they would work with this light, but when I put it in and tried the light, it won't work. Which is strange, because it's still a 21700 battery. But as you can see, there's a slight difference here in the size. And I don't think that's the main problem here. I think there's just some circuitry in there that's making it not work. So I called the company and asked to return them and they would not accept returns. So they actually suggested that I take it apart and just take the circuitry out. So basically how you do that is you get a razor blade you just take off this outer wrapper here. Then you're going to want to grab your snips and just kind of get this little lip here. There's like a tiny little lip at the top. And just grab it with some snips and fold it outward. Just kind of get that out of the way. Slowly but steadily. Gonna go get the pocket knife. Unless it'll push out. No, not with that black thing. Yeah, he's gotta take this little black cover off right here that's sort of holding the whole cell inside of its protective casing it's just like a little sticker pop that off once you got this all kind of uncrimped flared out just push it take the metal casing off in here that's gonna be the whole little USB-C charging port and circuitry. So here you got the battery that's now useful when you put it in the light. See if it works. There it goes. It works. Now the size, there is a size difference here. That one is now shorter than that one, which doesn't seem to affect the performance of it. But one thing you should know, this one's an unprotected cell now. So it can overheat and over discharge. So don't put your light on like the highest setting and just drain it and drain it. It may cause it to overheat, but it is what the company recommended because they wouldn't accept the returns. They just said to open it up and take the circuitry out and it should work. So, I hope that helps.